From the Linmar Technology and Communication Center, we are LMTV, Linmar Television. A total look at everything happening on your Linmar campus. Linmar, your news starts now. Good morning, Linmar. It's Friday, October 21st, 2011. And here's a look at the stories making news on your Linmar campus. Our top story. You made it for the first week of the new quarter. Time to check out what's happening this weekend with the LMTV Weekend Report. Guys? Remember to take a couple blankets with you if you are going to the football game tonight at Xavier. One to wrap up in because it's going to be cold. Urgh. And another one to, to sit on those, uh, avoid those splinters. For some of you, tomorrow means ACT day. Come to door one before 8 a.m. Bring your pencils, admission documents, and a approved calculator. If you have any questions about the ACT, see your counselor today. There are three new movies to tell you about. Johnny English Reborn. Johnny English goes up against international assassins hunting down the Chinese premiere. The Mighty Max. A woman becomes a basketball coach and leads, to a, leads a small, nearly bankrupt college to his first national championship. And the Three Musketeers. The Musketeers must unite and, def and defeat a beautiful, a beautiful double agent and their villainous employee from seizing the French throne and engulfing the Europe in war. That's your weekend. Make it a good one. Connor, back to you. Thanks, thanks guys. We'll be right back with more LMTV right after this. Chinese philosopher once said, A single conversation with a wise man is greater than ten years of study. Have you ever wanted to learn how to make money in business? Come learn from the best. SCORE, a group of business executives, will be giving presentations on various business topics throughout the year. SCORE's presentation this month will be over business and financial plans. Come to the Media Center from 6.45 to 8.30 p.m. Monday night. Everyone is welcome, and make sure to bring a friend. I don't always learn from business executives, but when I do, I prefer SCORE. Stay professional. Welcome back! Fellowship of Christian Athletes is hosting a Thanksgiving holiday food drive. All next week, bring in a non-perishable food item to the four corners between 8 and 8.30 each morning. For each item you bring in, you will get a ticket for a chance at a drawing. The grand prize is a Visa gift card. Please help out the hungry this season by donating. All items will go to Aid for Women. Now, Matt takes a look at this morning's sports. On the scoreboard, boys girls cross country are going to state. The girls came in first and the guys came in second yesterday at Marshalltown. Josh Evans took first overall, Carolyn Newhouse took third, Rachel Perry was fourth, Maddie Saville took ninth. Congratulations. Tonight in Linmar Sports, sophomore and varsity football face Xavier at their place. LMTV sports reporter Michael Murrell sizes up tonight's game in today's edition of Lions Sneak Peek. The Lions at 8-0 clinched the conference last week in a 17-12 victory over City High. Xavier at 5-3 looks to guarantee a playoff berth with a win and end Lamar's pursuit for perfection. A Lamar win would clinch home field advantage throughout most of the playoffs. My key matchup to watch is Mark Atwater versus a struggling Xavier secondary. Atwater is having a great season passing for over 1,300 yards and has thrown for 20 touchdowns. 14 of those targets have come from Andy Henry who's in the middle of a record-breaking season. My prediction for this game is for Lamar to defeat Xavier 42-17. to So everybody, go support your Lions as they try to finish the regular season with a perfect 9-0 record. I'm Michael Morrell, LMTV Sports. Thanks, Michael. Freshman football players, listen up. Your football lockers need to be emptied today, and all equipment must be turned in. Tomorrow, 10th grade volleyball will compete in the Crantic Meet at City High starting at 9 a.m. And freshman and sophomore girls swimming will compete in the NBC Super Meet at Kennedy. In other sports news, all guys going out for basketball this year, you must sign up in the athletic office today. And any girl, guys or girls going out for bowling, you must also sign up in the athletic office today. That's sports. Back to you. In news from the counselors, do you have a dream career in mind? If you do, or if you're just starting to explore options, consider applying for an internship. Ask your counselor for, to find out more. For more on this story, stop by the counseling office or check out the high school website. Now, Gibson joins us with Arts and Clubs. Thanks, Connor. On the Arts and Clubs scene, attention gringos. 
Come join the fun and help us celebrate El Dia de los Muertos. The fiesta is in Miss Gaylord's room, Tuesday from 5.30 to 7 p.m. Bring a snack to share. Pop will be provided. They will be watching Finding Nemo and making crafts. And mucho mas. The ping pong club will meet in the booster club area of the cafeteria Tuesday after school. Everyone is welcome. You can bring your own paddle, or if you don't have one, some will be supplied. Games are played to 11 points, so everyone has a chance to play without a long wait. Hope to see you there. Attention all NHS members. Help trick or trunk by supplying candy and needed supplies for kids. Please check the bulletin board outside of Ms. Chica's room, I-213, for needed supplies, and drop them off in her room by next Friday. You can sign up and bring donations to help with Trick or Trunk on Saturday, October 29th. That's the, our uh, Arts and Clubs update. Connor, back to you. Thanks, Gibson. Today on Channel One, the weekend, the week in rap. That's day at three on Ellen TV. Now Matt joins us with lunch. It's Oriental popcorn chicken salad with lettuce, with the lettuce salad, a fruit cup, and a cinnamon roll. The all lines will offer quesadilla, chicken quesadilla, pizza, or a la carte items. The food court offers Oriental chicken salad. That lunch, that's lunch. Back to you. Okay, now Elm TV weathercaster Jessica joins us with your weekend forecast. Jessica? After a cold start this morning, it should be a decent day. We'll have sunny skies, we'll have sunny skies with a high of 56. Tomorrow, we'll win some points with your parents and help out with some yard work. It'll be mostly sunny, warmer with a high of 64. Sunny, there's a slight chance of rain and a high of 65. That's your weekend forecast. Connor, back to you. Gibson has something else for us today. On the math team actually came in third at a team at Mount Mercy math contest yesterday. Congrats to Joe Everett, Zach Turley, Kavasa Narayan, and George G. Also, math team practice is Monday and Wednesday after school in room F-157. Connor, that's the math update. Back to you. That wraps up today's edition of Elm TV News. For the entire cast and crew, thanks for watching. Join us again tomorrow. Make it a great day.